A year ago at this time, Aaron Judge was little more than an afterthought on the Yankees opening day roster. Flash forward seven months later and the home run champion who thrilled fans in the Bronx all summer long with his Ruthian blasts finished second in the MVP voting. So who could blame the Yankees this offseason when they did the next best thing to cloning Aaron Judge, acquiring Giancarlo Stanton? On Thursday, Jay Happ and the Blue Jays get the chance to be the first team to face the 2018 Bash Brothers. Today is a chance to turn the page on a new season as they reload with new managers and star players. For others, it's a victory lap. It has been exactly 148 days since the Astros piled on the mound at Dodger Stadium as they won their very first World Series. On Thursday, the Astros began their title defense against their Lone Star rivals, the Rangelis Angels of Anaheim. While the normal transition for a Japanese pitcher or hitter can be difficult, Shohei Otani planned to do both in the majors. But the 23-year-old's lofty goals hit a bit of a stumbling block in spring training. He struggled on both sides of the ball, sparking rumors that the Angels' big catch could begin the season in the minors. And while Otani did make the major league team, his big league pitching debut won't come until Sunday. On Thursday, he would make his hitting debut as the DH batting eight. How about that? Anthony Rizzo honoring the young activists of Stoneman Douglas, his high school alma mater. The shooting that killed 17 students was, of course, extremely personal for Rizzo. He even left spring training to be with his Parkland community after the tragedy. And now, as the page flips to the season for the Cubbies' first baseman, he has teamed up with the Marlins to invite students to the Cubs opening series with Miami. To say this opening day was more emotional than others for Rizzo is an under 2017 NL wild card game. Keyword there, wild. The Diamondbacks with the 11 to 8 win in a game that totaled 30 hits. Arizona with 17 of those. And how about Arizona's four triples, including a clutch one late in the game by A.J. Pollock and, of course, the unbelievable one by reliever Archie Bradley that drove in two runs. Bradley told the media before opening day that the game will linger in his memory as long as he lives. And it hasn't escaped the memory of Colorado's Nolan Arenado either, who added there has not been a week that he hasn't thought about that game. It is only fitting that opening day these two teams would return to the scene of that event. In our last call segment, we draw attention to Michael Cerami of BleacherNation.com, who tweeted out on Thursday at 12.34 p.m. If Ian Happ leads off today's game with a home run, I will jump in Lake Michigan later today. Y'all already know how that played out. Happ did just that on the very first pitch. And yes, Mr. Cerami is a man of his word. And yes, the lake was at around 40 degrees when he jumped in. That will do it for this opening day edition of Quick Pitch. Now, here's the day. Baseball is finally here. We'll show you all the pomp and circumstance that comes along with America's greatest unofficial holiday. Plus, we show you all the new faces in new places, big comebacks and walk off homers. Oh, yeah, we had some. We have all this and much, much more. I'm Kelly Nash and Quick Pitch presented by Degree starts now. Guys, David Price will tow the mound at Tropicana Field. He meant so much to those Rays teams in his career as he was a perennial Cy Young contender for Tampa Bay. But since being dealt from the franchise that drafted him, things haven't always been as smooth, including suffering a spring training elbow injury last season that derailed most of it. But as he prepares to make his first start of the season Friday on his old mound that he dominated on for six plus years, Price says his elbow is pain free and his mind is clear. Now that's good to hear. The primed and polished Nationals are much more of a sports car than a lemon. But hanging over Martinez's head and the entire Nationals franchise is a ticking clock, counting down the days until Bryce Harper hits free agency after this season. While questions about Harper's future exist, there is no question about his past success on opening day. He has five career home runs and five career opening day games. So let's see what the man had in store for us on Friday. I need to tell you this. Philly, yeah, tough sports town. There's no way to beat around the bush with that. And criticism just comes with the territory. But new Phillies manager Gabe Kapler probably thought his grace period would last longer than one game. Scrutiny arose on opening day when he pulled Aaron Nola in the sixth inning. He had only thrown 68 pitches. And goodies you can't go about your day without seeing. The freeze out there in Atlanta. Yeah, the man is still running already in midseason form, winning on opening day out there at SunTrust Park just smoking cats left and right. The dude is so fast. NBC Sports Philadelphia tweeted, Usain Bolt, is that you? 
How about that compliment for the phrase? Pretty sweet, right? And Usain was cool enough to tweet back that the phrase was too quick to be him. Good one. Gotta love when the guys play along, right? And you gotta love when guys play baseball in high-end fashion. Wait, what? Oh, yes. We are bringing Louis Vuitton and Supreme to the diamond nowadays. Well, at least Bryce Harper is. Those are pretty sick. And, well, it's Bryce Harper. The man can do what he wants. And finally, to a moment that will make you go... Oh. Out to Emily Jones for sharing that little nugget with us. It's opening weekend in Oakland, and the A's are celebrating the 50-year anniversary of their move to the West Coast. That means rolling out the green carpet and welcoming some of the A's best and most colorful characters. We will take you there next, but first, Davis has flown under the radar over the last few years. He and Matt Olson are hitting home runs in Oakland at a stadium that has notoriously been very stubborn against the long ball. Olson, who also homered on opening day is hitting one home run every seven ABs since he was recalled from the minors in August of last year. That's the best mark in the majors during that span. So could this unsuspecting power duo be Oakland's new version? Davidson now looking ahead to Saturday. There will be plenty of big name pitchers in action. Steven Strasburg takes the mound for the first time since his dazzling performance in last year's postseason. As for you Darvish, he's set to make his much anticipated debut with the Cubs on South Beach, while for Zach Granke, he'll take the ball for the D-backs after battling groin tightness this spring. And here's a look at what's coming up on MLB Network on Saturday. At 1 Eastern, catch Cardinals and Mets from City Field, followed by MLB Tonight.